Hey, this is Billy Rulledge, live from Israel. We are now at the Golan Heights and uh, heading north today. At three o'clock today, there will be a speech by the Hezbollah leader, uh, Nas Raha. Uh, it will announce Hezbollah's intentions concerning uh, the war here in Israel and whether or not they will escalate their efforts to engage in that war. The tensions in Naharia concerning the outcome of this announcement are high. Just yesterday, I was in a local grocery store and the boss was giving a very passionate discussion to all of his workers within the grocery store. This morning, sitting at the breakfast table with a great friend of mine and his family, I saw in his daughter's 14-year-old face, concern. It shouldn't be the concern of a 14-year-old girl as to whether rockets will pour in later today or tomorrow. Some feel this announcement by the Hezbollah leader is simply sword rattling, while others fear it is the absolute point of escalation of Hezbollah's involvement. And that a time of greater rocket attacks in the immediate future is coming to overwhelm the Iron Dome. We know that even now the Israeli Defense Force is fighting in Gaza, moving moment by moment and using strategy and weaponry to retake the Gaza area and destroy Hamas. We also know that the Israeli army, as I heard one commentator say, is the most compassionate army in the world. They make no attempt to kill civilians. They make no attempt to do what the media across America has been, America has been saying. They look to find ways to destroy Hamas without destroying civilians. And yet Hamas repeatedly uses civilians, children, women, their own, as well as hostages in an attempt to shield themselves. There is no darkness like the darkness of this war and the darkness of Hamas and Hezbollah. So we know with this in mind that the people of Israel wait. It's a darkness, it's a silence, but something is coming. The monster is out there and the monster is coming. And we must pray that God, our God, the God of the Jewish people, the Father, the King, Yahweh will stand and prevent this darkness to pouring over like a sewage onto the people of Israel. Ask yourself if this was your 14 year old daughter sitting at your table and just beyond the mountain where you can see smoke, there was an enemy, there was a monster who will announce today their intention. Imagine that kind of tension. That's what hangs over Naharia. That's what hangs over the country. Today I met it into the Golan Heights. I want to make sure I was uh, not a burden to my friend and his family. We will see what God has in store. In Jesus' name, God bless.